Lightsmiths from my life mates, thank you so much for being here. In this video, I want to unbox a couple of boxes from the stationery selection. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so I hope to film more of these in the coming months. Uh, but here's November and December. I will start off with November and I'll try and remember to timestamp because I do a little bit of like a journal with me session near the end with these products. So starting off with November's box, there is a QR code uh, as well as a direct linked link to the, I think it was a video that I created uh, for this month's box. I sometimes do an extra video and then sometimes the link is a uh, like a printable. It really depends and it's more of like a bonus. So whenever I have time, I will film that little extra something. So the first thing here is from Oeda Letterpress. They are a letterpress company located in Osaka. She's a very small uh, business owner as well. She, I think it's her and one other person that works there. Um, and so we've, I'm very, very honored and very thankful that uh, she has created this beautiful letterpress um, item for us. This is the three frame label book and they're perforated so that you can easily cut them out. Um, we have decided on um, the dento which is like a traditional style Japanese symbols and designs and I don't know why but I didn't share with you that this package has two different colorways. So there's like the olive color that you see on the front or on the top and then if you flip to the back you'll see a darker blue color so there's two different colorways and you can see here that it is perforated so that you can easily tear those pieces out and use them for your journaling so I have already uh, cut some of them out and I will use them in my journal spread near the end of the video and so that's the first item in November's box next moving forward we have the the ruler the clip Ruler. It says clip scale, but it's a ruler that you can clip on to the cover of your notebook. It's nice and slim. It has a nice slim profile. So I use, you might have seen the ruler. Um, the colorway will be different depending on the box. Uh, there's pink, blue, silver, and black. So just giving you the heads up that the colorway is different. If there's a specific color that you want. Uh, just send us an email and we will try and find that one for you. This next one is a pocket fusen. Fusen means kind of like a sticky note. And you can, I don't know if you can see the images on the back of the packaging, but there's adhesive on the edges of the pocket so you can easily uh, stick that to the cover of your notebook or maybe to a page. Um, perhaps you're using like a, you have a travel journal and you want to, keep your receipts or st ticket stubs or something like that, you can easily adhere the pocket to the page. And I will show you a demonstration later on as well. The next one is a, a die cut sticker pack. And this as well, I will show you later on with in the uh, journal with me session. Um, but there are, uh, these are nice, very, very nice uh, thin stickers that you can use for your journal. This one here is the MT and Ollie. I don't want to butcher the last name, but it's in a collaboration uh, with this artist. And it is part of the Scandinavian series. Uh, this artist is a graphic designer and a poster artist from Sweden. Next is the Pentel Energel in the 04 nib. And I think in the description, I wrote that it was black ink, but it's actually something called rough gray. And then the tip may or may not have this little uh, protective kind of like wax piece. You can remove that before you use your pen. And then lastly is this beautiful notebook. Um, I discovered it years ago when I was attending a stationary event. And I'm just sharing with you here. I think somebody requested that I do a flip through. This is where it, I keep my gratitude journal. I haven't updated it recently, so I will kind of update some of my pages and maybe I will do a flip through. But I will be working in this gratitude journal near the end of the video. Um, I really like the pretty colorway of the months in the front part. 
and because of the thread binding it opens up nice and flat. So here are the months and it is kind of in a free format meaning there's no fixed dates so you can start whenever you want, you can stop whenever you want. I do admit that the light peach or pink color is a bit hard to see with the faint lines um, but yeah I, I really like um, the layout of this notebook. And I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling. I think I just attached the washi tape to my Hobonichi pages, but I will do some journaling in the actual gratitude journal, uh, which is the same notebook from the November box that I just show showed you. So I'm adding some washi tape and I will also do a little squiggly swatch of the of the pen as well. The pen, the Pentel Energel um, is in the rough gray and it's a very soft, uh, it's not like a harsh gray but it's a very nice soft gray and I will share with you some clo close-ups of that as well. But I thought I would do a fun journal spread in this notebook so that you can see um, just uh, some of the products used and how I would use them in my journals. And so I'm kind of arranging the items from the Oeda letterpress uh, paper pad. And I will also do more of this journal with me session, including some of the December items as well. So it's going to be kind of split up into uh, two parts. I'm just adding bits from the November box and just um, adding that to this page spread. And you can see I removed that little... Um, I wouldn't know what to do with say like a, a protective cap so before you use the pen sometimes it falls off during transit but um, if you notice there is like a little protective cap you can just easily remove that and so this is the close-up of the pen the Pentel Energel and I just do some squiggly <laughs> lines here that you so that you can see the ink color and I will add to this journal spread, like I said, uh, later on in the video with some of the items from December's box. And this is how thin the sticker is from that sticker sheet. It's very, very pretty and it's really great for layering. Um, before I move on, uh, move on forward to uh, explaining the journal spread, if you are new to my channel or if you're new to the stationery selection, I, myself, and my brother-in-law, it's just the two of us, we run this small, very small business um, curating and selecting lovely stationary goods from Japan. And uh, yeah, we ship it out to you every month. There are times when people want to skip a month or skip a couple months and that's totally okay. And right now because of the shipping suspension from Japan Post, uh, a lot of the countries we are shipping two boxes at a time uh, using FedEx or DHL and there's no real additional shipping costs needed from the customer um, but yeah just giving you a little snippet I, I guess uh, on a small little introduction it's just myself and my brother-in-law and we run this little small um, online stationery company so we basically do everything behind the scenes. Uh, usually emails, I will be answering the emails and uh, kind of like customer service. And we do all, he does a lot of the packing and packaging and preparing of the boxes and things like that. So it's, yeah, feel free to check out the website. It's not just the monthly subscription box. We are trying our best to add other stationary goods to the online store. And so um, please feel free, we can, uh, combine shipping costs and make uh, it easier for you if you want. I know it's a bit hard to understand sometimes with the shipping so if you feel like something is off I'm just an email away. <laughs> um, if you want to ship something together with your subscription box I'm more than happy to do that so please do uh, let me know. So we have already moved on to the December box the first three items I shared with you are some pens and markers. The Kuretake Clean Color was a new color uh, by newly released color by Kuretake, and so I wanted to include that. And then this one is the Plus the Deco Rush, and it's kind of like a decorative tape that you. It looks kind of like um, 
like whiteout. You know the tape runners that have whiteout? So it looks, um, it feels like that, but instead of whiteout, it has these fun little designs. And you can use them, um, it has like the techo print there. Techo means planner in Japanese, and so um, I will sh share with you later on as well, like a close up. But um, it has several different designs of the techo. And this one is our first ever original PET tape, and I will also share with you how this came about. There are some designs that have see-through parts so if you were to write something on your paper and then put this on top you can still see through that and so this is what I scanned and or this is part of it anyways I like to cut paper pieces and staple them together or sew them together and these ones I'm sharing with you now are the ones that I've scanned and included in the PET tape um, so this is our first ever original one and it <laughs> took me quite some time to create it and I'm very very happy with the end result. And then this one is another original item from the Canvit. It's in collaboration with the Canvit and it was also uh, created, made in Japan and this took so many months and several different tries. Um, but you can see once you open it up there's like a brass closure with a leather strap and then our logo there is on, on the flap there and I will kind of share with you what you can stick inside. I really really wanted to make sure that uh, it was long enough to hold Tombow markers. This is actually the, like the first prototype. You can see how it kind of hangs out a little bit and so that's where we had to kind of slim things down on the edges there so that it wouldn't stick out. So like I mentioned, I really wanted to make sure it was tall enough for the Tombow markers. I also changed it to two pen slots so that I can hold uh, thicker pens. I know some people have fountain pens and things and so um, I wanted to add, I changed it to two pen holders on the right hand side instead of the three. And you can see there it holds the Tombow markers nicely. and. Yeah, it's, I really like this company. We had uh, one of their pouches back in last year's June box, I think it was. And I really like uh, their stance with the environment and trying their best to create le less waste uh, when they are creating and manufacturing their items. And so I was really, really honored and pleased that they agreed to create the pen pencil uh, case with us in collaboration with us. If you are interested in the pencil case, you can, uh, I'll try to remember to leave a link down below so you don't have to purchase the whole December box. Uh, if you want to just purchase the pencil case, it is also available. Here I'm sharing with you the PET tape. I think I received an email uh, regarding how to remove the backing and it was really hard to kind of explain, but there's like a plastic, a very, very thin plastic film and I always use like the ball of my thumb to kind of catch catch the film. I kind of rub it against the edge and then it catches. It's so hard to explain in an email, but uh, hopefully that's um, easier to understand by sharing, sharing with you a video. And because I'm finally filming this video, I decided to stop holding on to these paper clusters because I've been holding on to these paper clusters uh, with the thought that I really want to share them in a video uh, and I'm finally doing this unboxing and um, so yes I finally used one in my journal and this one I'm um, I'm trying to kind of uh, remind you that in order to um, use it properly remember to see the or face the sticker towards the user or towards you and then you just kind of uh, slide it to the right. If you push too hard or if you push down too hard um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to use so it's it's hard to get used to it in the beginning um, but try not to push too hard. I, I have a heavy hand when it comes to my journals so I have to remind myself to kind of let it glide on its own. So here in this like I said in this journal spread I'm going to 
add some of the bits from December and I also wanted to share with you the swatch from the Kuretake Real Brush Pen and uh, sorry the clean color brush pen and share with you the color and I actually realized this now the, the pink or like the dusty pink it has uh, a nice it has the same a similar color in the washi tape and it kind of looked it was really nice timing I guess uh, with that swatch in my journal and then of course I wanted to play around with it a bit in my Hobonichi as well and spread it around a little bit using the watercolor brush also wanted to share with you that you can faintly take the if you wanted like a more faint color you can take the water brush and uh, touch it directly to the marker and get color through that way as well. Uh, it's a really nice soft dusty like a vintage type of pink. On the camera it's um, coming up more purpley but I, I guess it is uh, has a bit of a purple tone to it as well. Um, I'm just using the same Pentel Energel from the other box, from the November box, and just writing out some big headings, and I will do a close-up later on. So that's pretty much it for November and December stationery selection box. I still have about half a year uh, of unboxing that I need to do with you on camera, so I will try and get those done in the coming... I was going to say coming weeks, but it's going to be like coming months. Um, but yes, so those will be coming soon. And I have, we have quite a bit of these boxes remaining, unfortunately. So if you wanted to pick one up, they're in the sale section. We need to make space for inventory. And of course, uh, we want to add new items to the shop. But um, with the boxes remaining, it makes a, little, makes a little bit difficult to move things around. So the uh, older stationery selection boxes are now in like a sale area in the web page. And I will leave a link there as well. Anyways, I think that's it. Thank you very much for your support and for watching. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.